Hello everyone, I am Tiara Sharde. I am your spiritual mentor, certified master life coach, ordained minister, priestess, oracle author, and CEO and founder of the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program, as well as the Pussy Portal Program, which is enrolling right now and starts February 22nd. Okay, it is time for the divine message for the collective. Let's get into it, okay? What I was really picking up on is marriage, contracts, and a whole new life. Y'all, I've been saying this often over the years. I have prophesized marriage for people. I have prophesized children and relocation and advancement and careers for people, you come to me with the receipts. So thank you so much for that, for confirming the channeled messages that are coming in. And I'm absolutely feeling that with this message. Okay, so listen. And, and also quick disclaimer, quick disclaimer. Someone needs to stop watching tarot readings and tarot videos because I feel like they might get you caught up or they might make you confused as to what the divine is actually telling you. But for someone, the divine is literally telling you that you are meant to marry a certain person or you're meant to join forces with a certain person. So tap into what the divine is telling you and not so much what the reader is telling you. Even messages like this, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. It could very well be somebody else's story. OK, so I just want to say that. Be mindful. All right. So with this message, y'all, it's like. Somebody has their eye on you. Somebody views you as their spouse. This could be an ex. This could actually be a friend or a colleague. Um, yes, there are some career messages coming through, which I will cover. But really what was coming through so loud was romance and twin flame soulmate marriage. Okay, so let's let's stick with that for for now. Somebody has been watching you, okay? They could absolutely be a career person. They could be a boss. They could be an entrepreneur or they have aspirations of becoming an entrepreneur or a boss. Or so this could very well be you, right? Take what resonates. But they're watching you in your craft or they're in their craft and you and or this person um, is looking for someone, I don't know if this person knew that they were looking for someone before they met you or what it is, but I feel like for others of you, meeting you is what kind of brought this person to the forefront. So for some, I mean, you could have been dating, you could have been playing the field. You or this other person could have absolutely been a player energy or just had like a lot of women or had a lot of um, men around who were attracted to them or both, right? Who were attracted to them and that was the scene that was their their lifestyle for a while and i feel like they met you or they're about to meet you and you could be shifting things for them in their life all right i feel like you or this other person carry a certain level of wisdom expertise intellect um as well as money like I'm, i keep getting money that's why i just paused just now because it was like money money so I don't know, you could have money or this person has money or joining forces together is going to bring in a lot of money. And, you know, money isn't the answer to everything. It's not. I feel like you or this person isn't necessarily looking for a wealthy partner, but the divine is bringing in a wealthy partner for you. It is a gift to you. It's your, um, your right, I heard. You have a right to have a wealthy and established partner. So that's a very interesting message coming in that, that's spe spe specific to someone, okay? You and this person is gonna get along. I feel like they look at you as an intellectual, as someone who is intelligent, or this is a person that values intelligence. They love conversation. They love throwing ideas back and forth. You could actually have, um, a Mercury in Gemini, or maybe your Midheaven is in Gemini. So check your birth chart, right? I've been saying that for weeks. Check your birth chart, especially right now. It's very important, okay? Um, but this person loves your conversation. They love that you're smart. They also love that you're independent. And it's not like the independent woman energy. It's not that. 
They just like that you were able to build something with the with what you have been given. They like that you got it out the mud. They love the fact that you're wise and that you're spiritual and you're creative and you're handsome or you could be beautiful. They love everything about you. And I feel like you might have caught this person by surprise. Like, I don't know if they were expecting to meet you, right? So if, if this is somebody you have not met yet, you or them are going to be very shocked to meet each other or to finally see each other. I feel like one of you may meet the other and immediately know this is my spouse. Like, this is the person I'm going to be with. Like, I just, I know it. I choose them. I want them. I know that the divine has chose this person for me. That type of energy. I feel like if this is a person from the past, they could be approaching you with that information. Like, look, I didn't tell you this before, but I know that we're soulmates or I know I met you for a reason. I know that this is the situation. Also, you have somebody in your life that has uh, that has been wanting to say that to you, that they know they met you for a reason and that you changed their life. And they want you to know how you've been this change in their life. They want you to, to bear witness to their growth since meeting you. So that's a very powerful thing. I feel like some of you, you're going to meet somebody swiftly. If you have not met this person, if you have not met your future spouse, you're going to. You're going to meet them soon, like very soon. I've been saying this for a couple years, um, but there's something about the number, right? It's 2022, Gregorian calendar, and all those two, two, twos, that's really um, giving me relationships. It's giving me divine counterparts. It's giving me twin flame soulmate. So that is absolutely coming in for many of you. Like I was saying, you you're getting married or you could be officiating a wedding, right? Because I'm an ordained minister. I can officiate weddings. Maybe that's what you're doing, right? Maybe this is not actually happening to you, but you're you're being called to marry people together. That could absolutely be what's going on here. Wow. Also, what I was getting before is, um, I wonder if they want me to pull cards. We'll see. I don't know yet. Um... I was getting this before that somebody has mentioned you to their family. Somebody has said, look, I met somebody cool or I fell in love with somebody. Just take a look at him, like take a look at her, see what you think. And um, yes, somebody has told the people in their life about you. For some, this person could have just introduced you as someone cool that they met, who they think, you know, can be a benefit to them. For others of you, this is a literal, they're going to their mom, they're, they are going to their dad or, you know, a guardian or an elder or whatever it is and be like, look, I met somebody, I'm considering like marrying them. Like I want to be with this person. I want to build with this person. I'm getting that very strongly. Somebody asked their family or their friends and my phone just vibrated. Somebody asked their family or their friends. If they, um, what do they think about you? Like, what, what do you feel about him? Like, what do you feel about her? Okay, so what's the vibes you're getting from her? Or do you think like she's a little too weird to be in our family? Or what do you think? For others of you, this person comes from prestige and wealth and recognition and honor. They have a family of honor. So it's like they're going to ask for permission if, if you can come into the family. Others of them, they, they could have received a no and they could be moving forward with a proposal anyway. So I don't know, right? Take what resonates. Take what resonates, y'all. You could also be traveling to meet somebody's family or somebody is traveling to you. You could have a long distance relationship right now or you have a long distance relationship coming in. Like say you were traveling, you could be meeting your future spouse while traveling and then you're, you both are going to your respective places and then deciding like, okay, so now what are we gonna do? Like I said, this is happening fast for someone. Even if you've known this person for a long time, you both coming into romantic union and like solidifying your relationship, that's gonna happen quickly, very fast, okay? And it's divinely guided. It's not two people just 
going off on a whim and saying we're going to be together. It's no. Like when you meet this person, everything in your soul, your spirit, your dreams, everything is going to say this person, this person, this person, this person. It's going to be kind of overwhelming for someone I'm getting. Like you're getting over an overwhelming amount of messages to pursue someone or to ask for forgiveness from someone or to share how you feel with someone, regardless of whatever those feelings are, you're being asked to share that with someone right now. Some of you could actually be like a single parent. Um, you know, before I went, uh, before I hit record, I was getting a single mother, but you could be a single father. And what I was getting was somebody is wondering if, their love interest or their future love interest is going to accept the fact that they are a single parent. That was coming through. And I'm getting yes. Somebody, you're going to meet somebody who adores you and adores children. They're very good with children. They understand how to heal the inner child or they understand how to connect with their child self. Um, their little boy self, their little girl self. They could have been a teacher. Um, they could really just be a great parent as well if they have children. So you're going to meet that person and it's going to click. So don't think that you're like, I don't know, I heard damaged goods. Don't think that about yourself. No matter what it is that you've been through, if it doesn't have to do with children, please don't think that about yourself because you have somebody out there who adores you, who really loves you. So I don't know. You know, these divine messages are timeless. But I did ask about the week of, you know, the 22nd, the week of the 23rd. And this was the energy that came through. So this whole week, I just got, you could have somebody watching you this whole week. <laughs> no pressure, right? You may have somebody tuning into you and, and considering, okay, like I'm going to make this approach. Or I, I feel like somebody is practicing their lines. Or they're wanting to communicate with you. They, they're not sure how to say it, but they want to say it. Somebody also wants to apologize to you. Somebody really wants to give you an apology. For not being the friend that they should have been to you. If you are a single parent, you know, your co-parent, if they are a co-parent, they're wanting to apologize to you for maybe not being there in the way that they should have. For some, you're going to receive an apology and then you're going to be into a new relationship. Maybe you're not meant to be with a person who apologizes. It's just something the divine is sending in for you. Okay, let's pull, um, let's pull one card. Let's see what they have for us. But yeah, you're, you're getting new love and it's coming like on the heels of a breakup y'all you could have literally just had a breakup look at this oh my goodness two of cups like i said yep confirmation so we're done like i said two of cups let's see if i can is it a glare hang on so when you meet someone when you meet this person, oh, wow, see, look at this. Oh, okay, let's get into it then, spirit. Let's get into it. When you meet this person, it's going to be mutual. It's going to be mutual. So whoever this message is for, you're not going to have to worry about, oh, my gosh, do they like me or do they think I'm cute enough? Like, am I smart? Like, did I just put my foot in my mouth? Like, did I say the wrong things or whatever it is? You're not going to have to worry about that. I feel like this person has studied you, first of all. <laughs> They've studied you, so they kind of, they get you. This person is going to get you. You are going to get this person. You're going to understand them. You're going to understand their humor, their intellect. I feel like you could have had the same past or a similar upbringing, whatever that was. This person is going to understand you, okay? So there's not... There's no need to be nervous or anything like that. And also for those of you who are asking for an apology, just trust and have faith that all is going to happen as it should. And try not to get all in, all up in your head because really you giving an apology is more so like for you kind of. 
like getting the courage to say the thing that's for you okay um I feel like somebody is going to fall in love with a business partner or a colleague or someone who's on a joint project with you, okay? In whatever capacity. I don't know, maybe you're the star of the show. That could mean something for someone. Maybe you're the star of the show, but like the security guard is your person or you know, the cameraman is your lover. Something like that is is there like I don't know it's like one of you could be in the spotlight and the other one is not in the spotlight but they make sure things are running in the spotlight okay but yeah you're you're gonna you're going to come into that okay a lot of adventure and a lot of play is here y'all so I don't know, I'm really imagining a couple literally acting like teenagers and giggling all the time. You or this other person is funny or um, it's, they're just so smart that it's always engaged, right? I feel like um, one or both of you is fine as hell, okay? I keep saying that. I keep picking up somebody's energy who's who tunes into my channel, you fine. Okay, I don't know what else to say. Like you're physically attractive, you're smart, you're spiritual, you're creative, you can dress, you smell good. It's just like all of you is just fine. So and th when this person sees you, they're gonna think that like, oh shit, he's like super attractive or um, wow, he's so talented. Somebody's gonna be so in love with your talent and your passion. And your talent and your passion is gonna translate into the relationship, okay? It's gonna translate into those quiet moments together. You feel me, all right? Listen up. So that energy is definitely here. Um, somebody is going to be having more children if you already have some, um, or if you don't have some, you're gonna have children. And if it's not physical, ch a physical child, it's um, a business baby or some sort of project that you're gonna do together. But we literally have the Five of Wands, the Page of Cups. Listen, we have the Four of Cups, but I, I think that's outside energy. Somebody's going to be really upset that they, they, they missed out on you is what I just heard. Somebody's going to be very sad that they dropped the ball with you. Oh, yeah, they're going to cry, okay? And respectfully, I say that respectfully, okay? Somebody's been in emotional turmoil over you. All right. Hmm. So the energy I'm getting here Listen, the competition is fierce. Okay? The competition is fierce out here. Somebody wants to make a move on you before everybody else starts circling in. And that's what it is. Like somebody sees you as the prize, but they see you as their prize. This is also an energy of someone who is going to earn the right to have you on their arm. This is not somebody that's trying to like trick you into pregnancy or try to bamboozle you into a relationship. That's not this energy that I'm picking up right now. This person is literally going to see something that they want, right? Think about it, factor it in, do all the paperwork, get background checks consult the family like somebody is kind of thorough with their research though and I like that because I'm a researcher too so I respect the research I do I like that I get it okay I get it but anyway somebody is really gonna do all of their paperwork cross every t dot every i and then when they pursue you romantically you gotta trust that it, that they're legit okay because they see you as their prize you're literally their trophy spouse what they view as a trophy spouse okay somebody legit views you like that and they're gonna make it known to you okay so they're gonna see you and they're not gonna want anybody else to touch you <laughs> they're, they're not they're not gonna want anybody else to get beside you at all so if you are a woman listening to this message and you date men 
this is a guy who's very much so alpha, alpha male, very much so protector provider, but also absolutely does not play about you in any capacity, in any way, shape, or form. They do not. So be prepared for that, okay? Just, I don't, I don't know. For you, it may be a little intense. I don't know. I'm not sure. But there are a lot of people, not just women, there is a lot of people who want their lover to be invested in them and to protect them. And for many of my chosen ones out here who tune in, you're worthy of that. You're worthy of being protected and being honored and giving that same energy back to someone. So I feel like that's what you're coming into. And you're going to receive this message. And somebody's going to be finding out this year that they're expecting children and that's it. You're having a baby, all right? You gonna name me the godmother? I don't know. <laughs> you just might. When I said that, I actually wasn't surprised. So, wow. I guess somebody is planning to name me a godmother. Or maybe I'm the fairy godmother. Maybe I'm the godmother in the astrals. Because you know I'll be visiting people and I bless their life. <laughs> like, boop, bippity boppity boo. So, that is the message. Let's see, is anything coming in? Um, yeah, I'm just, I just heard, uh, chosen. You've been chosen for this. Somebody has been chosen for you. They've been selected and you've been selected for somebody else. This happens before you were even born, y'all. If you watch the message I just did about, um, you know, you're destined to save souls. Literally somebody was chosen to marry you. It was literally an arranged marriage of cosmic proportions. Ooh, I like that. An arranged marriage of cosmic proportions. You're going to meet your person this year. It's a definite in me. It's just like, it's in right here in my gut. Like actually like in the solar. It's right in the solar plexus. Wear yellow and wear white. Wear more yellow and wear more white. But yeah, somebody's getting married. I don't know if you're going to be wearing a white suit. I don't know if you're going to be wearing a white dress. But some of y'all are not going to wear white at all. If you're going to get a, a traditional um, wedding ceremony, you're not going to wear white at all for someone. I think that you're going to be a little different. For others of you, you have a destination wedding coming towards you. So congratulations. Yay. How exciting. Woo, 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 woo. Where you going? I want all the details, y'all. If this is your story and I'm literally prophesizing over your life, please send me an email, okay? I want to know. I want to see how cute you look. I want to celebrate you, okay? So let me get out of here. That is the divine message for the collective. If you want something more specific to your situation, I do have really, really juicy reading specials going on right now. It's right there in the description box. Again, the Pussy Portal program starts February 22nd. And if you're looking for an ordained mate, if you're looking for a divine partner, you want to tap into the Pussy Portal program, sis. You're going to want to do that, okay? And when we get on our complimentary clarity call, because I do offer those, um, we could talk more about that. So when you go to the Pussy Portal program page, look it up, make sure you're aligned with it. Make sure you're aligned with what I'm talking about now. And then book a complimentary clarity call with me if you resonate, if you have questions about enrollment and payment plans and will we start and, you know, the workbook and journal that comes with enrollment. Okay, so that is all. I'll see you all on the next message. Peace and love.